I need that Rothesite if we want to complete the Neuroam. I'm just concerned the entire station was wiped out by... something. Don't worry, we'll figure it out and get that shipment back. I hope... Good, you're here. It's time to put a plan in motion to take full control of this situation with Infinity LTD. In due time, we don't know to what extent Infinity has taken the current NeuroAmp schematics, so our top priority is completing our own. Let me introduce you to Vina Kalra, Head of Research and Development. She'll give you the initial details. Yes, details. You see, the internal NeuroAmp is supposed to consist of two parts. The first part, the part Infinity stole, handles the manipulative effects. The second part is a shielding modification, designed to protect the user against other NeuroAmp... users. Oh yeah, marketing and finance wouldn't have it any other way. No one wants their greatest asset used against them. Once Vina can complete the internal NeuroAmp and shielding mod, the plan is to outfit you with both and have you infiltrate Infinity LTD. We can't risk the assignment until we know your mind has the necessary protection. I think implanting that device into your head is a mistake. But it's your choice, not mine. As long as you work for us, you don't have a choice. I'm sure I don't have to remind you where the door is if you're not capable of handling this task. You really don't have anything to worry about. The procedure is simple and safe, it's just a matter of getting the right materials. The final kink in both designs was finding compatible materials to use for conductivity that the human body wouldn't reject. I finally created the perfect alloy, but it requires a newly discovered refined element called Rothesite. Which is where I come in. We have a confidential contract with Consolidated Mining to gather, refine, and ship the Rothesite straight to us. Their last shipment is late, and neither we nor Consolidated Mining have had any communication with the Karenay Station. Correct. The updates have been regular up until now. Last we heard, the shipment was ahead of schedule. We need you to head out there, secure the shipment, and bring it back here so Vina can complete her prototype. And I want to know what happened. We need to take any safety measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. The mining station is CM Station RC-1. It's on a moon called Karen A-3A in the Karen A system. The shipment should be in the research and control tower, but the outside doors are kept locked down. This keycard will let you enter the mines so you can access the tower from the inside. Good luck. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later.
searching them. Make it quick. I've heard about these tunnel doors. Means, but never had the opportunity to see one of them in person.
Nice clean dock there. Anything I can help you with? This area's off limits. Authorized personnel only. An outbreak? I haven't heard anything about this. Oh. Uh, understood. Uh, here's an access card. Good luck. On deck. Sean, I don't want to do this again. I'm tired, all right? Just not today. You can't be okay with this, though, right? You took an oath, and I'd say this... Hey, who let you in here? This is a restricted area. Fine. I'll tell you. We're on a private contract with Infinity LTD. It's for something they call Project Dominion. Dr. Lane and I were instructed to conduct human trials on several volunteers. So far, only one patient has survived. You're telling me. When Infinity hired us, they said human trial authorization was already underway and we'd have the approvals in a matter of days. The days went by and nothing. Every time we'd ask, it was always just days away, but we kept working. Between the money and potential success, it was easy to tell ourselves that they'd come through. Sean, what the hell is going on here? Who is this? It's moments like these when I think I just need to hear someone say it out loud. Sean spoke the truth. We thought the approval would arrive any day, so we continued with the project. By the time we started to catch on, it was already too late. We were too immersed in the lie. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Those are human lives we're talking about, but you're treating them like data points on a slate. Infinity is the one that should take the blame. We're victims here as well. No, he's right, Ken. It's what you and I both deserve after going along with this mess. How long have we talked about walking away or refusing to work? We oversaw the death of nine people here, and it may as well be ten. Infinity may have lied to us, but they also paid us well enough that we did nothing. You'd let some stranger like this just ruin our careers? Yes, and you're going to let them too. 
Go ahead. Get whatever information you need to take this place and Infinity down. I'll make sure Dr. Lane remains cooperative. Only we had a little more time. So, where to next? Got anything you need to offload? Trade authorities always buy. He asked, right? We've detached. Let's get out of here.
Just hand Vina the shipment so we can get on with it. Hey there. Is that my beautiful shipment? You were right about this one, Masako. Looks like it. This should be more than enough. Now, I shall excuse myself and get to work on finalizing this prototype. So, what did you learn about CM Station RC-1? Hm. Lucas must be desperate if he hired them to collect the Rothesite. Were there any survivors? Sicking ecliptic on a station with nothing but miners and scientists? Corporations can sink low, but this is a new level. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? I figured it was related. And were you able to determine the purpose of this secure wing? So, it sounds like Lucas has reached a new level of desperation to ensure his future as CEO. To hell with corporations and CEOs and profit margins. People have died, and you aren't showing the least bit of remorse. Ugh. I'll make sure Yuko's team extracts every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. Between hiring Ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rothesite secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. Head up to the executive floor and speak to Dalton. He has an update for you on the Mole's identity. I've called a meeting, and I expect you to attend. It's time to put the final plan in motion. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Don't cause any trouble. Got my eye on you. Good. You're right on time. I reevaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. I had a feeling Imogene wasn't responsible. <sighs> that poor woman. Yes. You made the right call. I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogene was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. Must that poor woman's name be continuously dragged through the mud? These nonsensical decisions need to stop. Good. Keeping Ularu in the dark is the key to taking her down. Masako has tasked Ularu with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program. So this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity. So before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. Good. Once Ularu believes she's properly deflected any suspicion, I've no doubt she'll be bold enough to hide something within whatever program she writes. 
Now, let's attend a meeting. We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget. The mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Of course, thanks to another of my operatives. Watch me. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal NeuroAmp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority, the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities. I can't imagine the mess their legal department has on their hands. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Masako, the internal neuroamp is ready if you want to send down the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. And that's precisely why I know we can count on you. Vina will be waiting for you in the Neuroamp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. Designers. The fact that the Neuroamp can control and manipulate people against their will is disgusting. The device shouldn't be allowed to exist. Alive. Ah, here's my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. Oh, don't worry. That's not on the agenda. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards. Provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple checked the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. 
Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Of course. We've got, what, five PhDs between the two of us? Six, but who's counting? All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. This unit does not possess advanced surgical capabilities. All right, let's get this party started. finally up. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. It's good to see you again. So, how are you feeling? You look good? That's exactly what we want. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary, so be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Great. Now let's test this sucker out. Demarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. That's the spirit. Demarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. I am not permitted to perform medical practices.
strategy. On the other, I'm terrified what could happen should this fall into the wrong hands. I've never been so divided about something. Yeah, I like to rub his own about why he disagrees with her theories. Oh my god, that was incredible. What was it like? Wow. How to describe it? One minute I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. It felt eerily <laughs> natural. And yes, I admit it, just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my yeah. latest dissertation. I'm fine. And you owe I me a hundred creds. Hour I'll be keeping myself under minutes. constant surveillance now. I'm curious if she got any other side effects week. may manifest. What was it this time? Electron splitting? Wormholes? The probability involved in... So, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? I only understood about half... Yes. Good. Hear that, Demarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neuro amp isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete. And Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. Now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuroamp, it's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Ryujin Industries. And wish he shall every day while he rots away in prison. All right. Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. Just hope those acting skills don't get you caught or killed. Now, depending on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer, in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on, also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. That's what we're counting on. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials, but Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. 
I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Neuroamp. Exactly. And what the public doesn't know, doesn't hurt them. With tech like that, I can see why you'd want to maintain control of the narrative, though I strongly object to the methods. If the media were to draw their own conclusions, I'm certain they'd just create a panic among people. Controlling the narrative is of the utmost importance. Oh, let's just hope this program is as thorough as you say then. And a safe. No, we don't want a mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. I'd highly advise you use it. This assignment isn't the time to test your abilities. The only thing you're out there to prove is that you can get this job done. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. Well, you're still here, so apparently you didn't need it that bad. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. It certainly will, and we'll have front row seats. So, any final questions before you go? Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Here's Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the Overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access, so that's your ticket in either way. Don't screw this up, Skylar Lumen.
Pleasure. So, let's take a look. Aha! The decryptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. The moment you launched the Overseer program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. First Imogene, now Masako. Ularu keeps using people as rungs on the way up the ladder. Any one of us could be next. I'm going to copy the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact, so Alaru can't dispute it. All right. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Ularu's guilt. Good. Then let's nail Ularu right to the wall. She deserves everything that's coming her way. Yes. And had you not brought this program to me in the first place, you would have been the one planting the false evidence. Without that falsified evidence, Ularu is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. Painful memories or not, it's good to be home. LTD's corporate headquarters. Hello. Did you have an appointment with us today? Ah, 
Yes, from Lumen Interactive. The elevator here will take you to the marketing floor. Once you arrive, you'll want to talk to Ellis Ortiz. He's the receptionist there and will be happy to help you. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Take your time. Welcome to Infinity LTD's Mark Party. If you just have a seat, I can notify Miss Hart that you've arrived. I'll go notify Miss Hart that you are here. Feel free to use any of the facilities on the floor while you wait. The break room and bathrooms are just around the corner.
If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan soon. Excellent. Administrations come and go in the big city, but SSNN is here to stay. Can I help you? Mr. Barron's a very busy and important man. Well, I'll be the judge of that. What's this so-called story about? Corporate greed claims victims once more. And you have evidence to support this claim. Perfect stranger or not, we won't air anything without some sort of hard evidence. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. I figured as much. Maybe your friend here would care to comment? My colleague has said everything you need to know, but on a personal note, I'd like to add that the corporate world is definitely not for me. I see. 
Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. David's amazing. I bet whoever came up with bad news travels fast wasn't taking interstellar distances into account. Uh, you okay? That was a hell of a jump.
I have things for you. Do you... What are you looking at? I believe you were specifically told that we did not want a body count on this assignment. Faye's death may be a pain point, but at least Lucas is still alive to face the incoming consequences. Hmm. If only intent mattered. All the tools at your disposal, and yet here we are. I hope you at least attempted to use the internal neuroamp. And yet, not useful enough to avoid a body count? Still, it's good to know the applications are proving themselves. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes, yes. thank you. The murders are believed to be linked to a new investigation where Drexler would have been accused of numerous violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself and the competitor have yet to be confirmed. This has been David Barrett for SSNN. Perfect. This exposure puts Infinity right where we want them. The meeting will begin momentarily, but I want you to discuss the options we have with the other members. Infinity's net worth is about to hit rock bottom. So, this gives us the opportunity to win a little more public faith. Quite right. The truth is, we'll be making evaluations. We'll shed any employees who don't make the cut, slowly but surely. By incorporating Infinity, we eliminate a competitor, get their best employees and contracts, and all while boosting our public perception. Shed any employees. Oh, terminology like that. What you reference manipulating people's lives. Oh, it makes my skin crawl. That's certainly our hope. Any employee with a sense of drive is sure to show themselves. Which is why I'd like you to talk to the board to convince them this is the right move. There are several who might disagree, and you have the perfect tool to help sway them. Good. You'll find most of the board members in their offices preparing. Vina is also here, waiting for the meeting to start. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. I trust you'll get it done. Don't cause any trouble. Did Masako send you to try and convince me to acquire Infinity LTD? I think we both know that's not going to work. Our public perception is good enough. If you ask me, reaching out to save Infinity just makes us look weak. 
The internal neuroamp gives us the power to crush our competitors, not take them under our wing. This is exactly why Masako's time as CEO is finished. Good. If you use that neuroamp wisely, it will guarantee that Infinity gets shut down. Ah, uh, well, it does make Ryujin look good. And we do gain a wider customer base, which means higher profits. You're oddly right about this one, Op. I guess you are worth keeping around. As long as everyone has Ryujin's best interests in mind, this should make for an interesting meeting. An issue? That would be a foolish move. Dalton and Alexis are the only two against it. You'd never get the rest to shut it down. Please. Ryujin's best interests are long-term success and growing profits. The internal neuroamp provides both. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of preparations to make. Ooh, look at that. Your surgical wound's healing like a dream. And how's my favorite patient doing? Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. Oh, that's great. I'd say Project Dominion is ready for legitimate human trials in that case. One step closer to seeing market approval. Genevieve is going to be so excited. So, tell me what you think of the Neuroamp. I hope you're not actually suggesting that the technology I spent years working on and perfecting never sees the light of day. This is groundbreaking work. My life's work. Fine, fine. Make your case. You... you really think they could come after me? There's always data against something, no matter how innocuous. We'll just have to make sure there's- I hate to stop you, but I just can't be swayed on this. Besides, Masako, Alexis, Genevieve, they know how to handle this. So the next question is, what will the fate of Infinity LTD be? That's what I'm hoping for. They may be the underdog, but that doesn't mean they don't have a brilliant mind or two. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? See you in there. If only there were more hours in the day. <sighs> Great, the bane of my department. If you need something, make it quick. You heard correct. I've every reason to believe that Infinity LTD is the Pandora's box of corporations. All right, I could use the entertainment. Tell me why Infinity is a good asset. A certain amount of confidence during the negotiations would go a long way in this situation. Definitely a point worth considering. Hmm. Point taken. Huh. Well, what do you know? I think you just convinced me. Talent like yours belongs in the courtroom. Don't even get me started. 
First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. Well, I'm both glad and surprised to hear the one person who has one say that. Masako's lucky to have you at her disposal, even if you are a continual thorn in my side. You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. This exchange has been surprisingly insightful, but now I really do need to get back to my notes. This meeting should prove to be very interesting. I assume Masako briefed you on her preferred outcome. That blasted tech. Indeed. That technology shouldn't be used for such nefarious purposes. Or in fact, any purposes at all. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion a long time ago. I knew it was a grave security risk, and look what happened. You read my mind. Let's just hope Masako and the others see it that way. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload onto my team. The last thing I want to deal with are any more incidents this new neuroamp might cause. I imagine we're looking at months of work. Infinity LTD is obviously not known for their security. I only hope that Masako and the others will be patient with the process. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some preparations to make. We'll be announcing Ularu's termination of employment at this meeting, so I need to have security ready to escort her off the premises. Is Masako checking up on me to make sure I'm on her side? Well, you can let Masako know to rest easy. It just so happens that her agenda lines up with mine. We just need to grab Infinity LTD while it's got the public's full attention. I'm all about free PR, especially when it's painting us in a good light. I'm sure I can squeeze enough goodwill out of this to last us at least a year. All right. I suppose you've earned the right to voice your opinion after everything you've done, qualified or not. So let's hear it. The possible backlash on tech like this is not lost on me. However, the internal neuroamp will define the next era of tech, with Ryujin at the forefront. It's not an opportunity you just walk away from. You're right. The moment you violate your customer's trust, there's a good chance they'll never come back. Even worse, you push them into the hands of your competitors. Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. Good talk. Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. You're looking... interesting today. Just the person I wanted to see. I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. Good. I prefer first-hand feedback when available. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why?
Saving the jobs of thousands is altruistic, which is not a luxury corporations have. It's a financial burden. It would be a huge undertaking on my part. This is true. Infinity never had the financial resources to match our salary offers. Getting what few capable employees they have at half the salary we typically pay here could have major payoffs in the long run. Next question. What is your opinion on how Masako handled the mole situation? Expand on that, if you can. An excellent point. Why react and repair when you can prevent a situation altogether? I appreciate the insight. I suppose I should ask if there's anything I can do for you, considering how helpful you've been. It's only dangerous to those who can't afford one. Hence the added motivation that will bolster sales. I think we all know how averse I am to chaos. Finances are my forte, so you make a good point. Our competition has yet to truly master NeuroAmps, but the possibility is there. It's a risk I am unwilling to take. At this time. This has been rather enlightening for me. I appreciate the time. Alright everyone, as you all know, we've successfully exposed Infinity LTD's botched human trials and murder for hire through SSNN. The public is demanding their leadership, namely Lucas Drexler, face trial, and he's probably writing his resignation as we speak. Ryujin will be launching a statement, but I believe now is the perfect time to acquire Infinity LTD. Believe it or not, I agree. The acquisition has risks, and it's going to create a lot of work for all of us. But the overall payoff will be worth it. That, and Infinity LTD's current situation, makes them more affordable than ever. Arguments? None? Excellent. Moving on, then. I think what we're all overlooking is what led us to this situation to begin with. Yes, our security was compromised. But considering Dalton was hired by Masako, the issue obviously starts at the top. In fact, I propose that Masako be removed from CEO altogether. Ularu, this isn't a line you want to cross. And considering you're the mole, if anyone's going to be removed from power, it's going to be you. Hold up. Are you saying you lied to us? Dalton, the last meeting we had, you distinctly said Imogene was the mole, and she'd been dealt with. Do you even have any proof to back up this outrageous claim? Of course we do. The malicious code you hid on this slate to upload incriminating evidence against Masako onto Lucas Drexler's computer. To put it bluntly, Ularu, you're fired. Security will hold you in your office until a proper exit interview can be done. This isn't right. I should at least have the opportunity to resign. And allow you to still be marketable to a competitor? I don't think so. This may be news to me. And I will be reviewing the evidence closely. But this isn't something you just get to walk away from. Security. 
Escort Miss Chen to her office and see that she stays put. You'll regret this, all of you. I believe the only regret would be trusting you to begin with. All right, back to business. All in favor of acquiring Infinity LTD? Aye. Good. Alexis, start drawing up the necessary documentation. Anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up? The internal neuroamp is a key component of Ryujin Industries' success for the next ten years, if not more. Why would we shelve it after we've finally perfected it? The moment the public gets wind of the true capabilities of this tech, we're gonna suffer severe backlash. Very well. All in favor of shelving Project Dominion? Aye. All against? Nay. Vina, prep Project Dominion for storage. Any other matters to bring forth? None? This concludes our order of business for today. So much work to do. <laughs> you operatives really will wear any. Shelving the internal neuroamp. Not the outcome I anticipated. A fine point, but it still proves its usefulness. The truth remains, Lucas Drexler learned a hard lesson, and we exposed a traitor among us. You've proven yourself to be quite the asset here at Ryujin. I suppose it is. Gratitude isn't something you typically hear these days in the corporate world. I truly appreciate the work you put into exposing Ularu. No operative has ever had to investigate our own to the extent that you did. I can imagine it may have been a lot of pressure, considering you were fairly new at the time. Yes, I'm proud of you as well. Ularu needed to be brought down. If you wouldn't have stopped her, who knows what she would have done next. Imogene's instincts were right about you. Now, as promised, I have your bonus. I hope you'll find it appropriate for all you've done. And I'm promoting you to senior operative. You've more than earned it. It's well deserved. As for the details, I think someone back on the operations floor would prefer to explain those to you. certainly shaken things up around here. I still can't believe Ularu tried to frame me. An obvious misjudgment on my part. But now that's all in the past. It's time to get back to your typical day-to-day. -day. It's nice to see your recent experiences haven't soured you on the company. Now, since you are new, you've been dealing with people, but most of our assignments are generated on the mission board. The board holds any available assignments that our techs have pieced together, and I've approved. Questions? Good. The mission board is generally self-explanatory anyway. With your promotion, you've earned yourself an office, so whenever you're ready, you can find your own personal mission board inside. And the best perk of them all, you're free to make your own hours. Oh, and, uh, congratulations. Of course. 
You certainly will. Go check out the board. And if you have any questions, I suppose I can start up an open door policy just for you. Thank you.